Hi everyone. I wanted to come on and uh, possibly give a little bit of encouragement um, of the timing that we're in. Um, it may not mean anything to somebody, but um, to me it does because the Lord just blesses me with um, so much, so much information. Um, he's blessed me with some dreams. Um, I can't even count the number of times that he has just communicated with me um, in real time. Like, ask him a question and I literally get an answer. Ask another, like, con like constantly. At it. It's just almost unbelievable. Um, there's almost like a blurred line of like, is this coincidence or is this like really happening? Um, so I mean, I'm just telling you that so that you know that like, I'm, I don't really just like say things to say things that, um, they do have meaning and, um, validity um but basically um not too long ago I posted a video um I think it was probably like my first video that I posted um when I had asked the Lord for the number of the month for the rapture and for him to put that in my dream and this was probably 2018 um Basically, the Lord was pre-ordering two liters of french fries to pick up for another day. And he had looked at me and he said that he loved french fries more than anything else for a party. And then he paid, or he paid $80 and some change and then said that to me. Um, so I always look to August um, because of the eight, the $80 that he had paid. Um, so August, to be honest, for me is a really high watch month. Um, although, you know, I had this dream in 2018 and sometimes when you have dreams like that, you think it's like going to be that, that year. I think I had that dream that summer and then was looking for August and nothing had happened, and nothing had happened, um, for 18, 19, you know, four August had passed since I had had that dream, and nothing had happened, so not gonna lie, it's, it's like, because they had passed, I'm like, looking at other months, and, um, I think it was not too long ago where I'm like, you know, the Lord gave me a dream also that took place in the summertime because I asked him to give me a dream and for the setting of my dream to be in the month, the season, I'm sorry, not the month, the season of the rapture. And it was a full on summer dream. I had also asked for an, a, a confirmation for something else um, that night. So it was like a summer setting but also the confirmation of what I had asked. I had asked him about somebody and he had put that, I had told, I had asked him if he could put that person in my dream. So it was literally, and you can go back and, and watch the video that I, I had also said this, but he had put that person on, it, it, basically my dream, it started off like looking at the sky and it was just a sunny day and then it zoomed onto a, um, a cruise ship and then there's like a bunch of bleachers and with a bunch of people sitting on them and the person I had asked him to put in my dream for confirmation for something that person was sitting on the bleachers waving at me um, so for me it was like like really what are the chances of a dream that I had asked for like as well as a confirmation 
literally being put into one dream. So, like, not too long ago, that kind of hit me like, wow, like, that just kind of, like, confirms how, like, you know, true that, that dream was, um, but anyways, um, so, in the original dream with the french fries, um, obviously the french fries represented the people, he was picking up two liters of french fries, um, you know, two liters, L-I-T-E-R-S, um, But I am now I am a shift leader. Um, so the two leaders to me is like 144,000, two witnesses. I think of it as like, you know, two leaders of God's army. Um, not saying that that's who I am. Um, but also not saying that I'm not. Um, but I am for sure a part of it. Um, but we won't, we won't get, discuss anything else <laughs> further about that. But um, basically, I correlate the two leaders with me being a shift leader. Um, since then, I've had like four, three or four jobs and every job has asked me to be like a shift leader shift manager and I just have not wanted to do that I felt you know time was running out there's no reason for me to be like trying to move up in a company or put all this extra headache on on myself when I'm already weary as it is um so I avoided being a shift leader like it was a plague to be honest um I did become a supervisor at a hotel um last year yeah last year I think um but to me it's not the same as like a shift leader um especially as far as the actual title um somehow I got sucked into becoming a shift leader at this job I work at a smoothie shop, but luckily, it's not too much for me. It's n nothing like, it's not even, it's barely any different from my normal position that I used to have, which is sometimes I open up and I'm with somebody else till like 11 in the morning when like an actual manager comes in. Um, but yeah, and I'm not gonna lie, I had always kind of wondered, like, wonder if that, like, leader aspect of the dream that I was given correlates with, like, a shift leader position, yet I never wanted to take on one, um, but like I said, I somehow got sucked into becoming one, even though I said no quite a few times for at this job, at this current job, and... I kind of like discussed my couple stipulations, um, you know, because you got to kind of bargain and, um, you know, so we had came to agreement, but I never, we never really like actually been like, okay, so we're going to do it. And my manager had just like written up the sheet where with the rays on it and um he had like left and he had his brother give me the paper to sign and I actually thought it was like a different paper that like he kept trying to get me to sign when I was busy and then like when I wasn't busy I would forget to sign it it was like an address change type thing and I'm going to, I'm thinking that's what it was and I'm like going to sign it and and I realize what it is, so I'm just like, whatever, and just continue to sign it. So now I am a shift leader, and so yeah, um, I feel like, you know, um, 
it also kind of correlates with the shift change aspect. Um, um, a lot of people believe in a shift change. I believe in one. Um, I believe there is a shift change that's going to happen. Um, so, you know, the shift leader title, I feel, correlates with um, the two leaders of French fries, but... Uh, you know, the rapture, but also the shift change. Um, so I hope that was, hope that's like a little encouraging for someone, um, as far as the timing that we're in, we're, we are just so close, um, you know, if, if trying not to get too much into talking too much but um if you watch uh, one of my other videos um was quite reluctant to share that but I did feel the Lord was pushing me to share it like I said he shows me so much that there's almost like this blurred line of what's coincidence and what is confirmation um like how many times is the like how many times are you shown something is it that it is either a coincidence or a confirmation like after how many times do you need to be shown something um so I did feel like he led me to share that um and it did, it basically seemed like a rapture was going to happen in 2022 and in 2023. Um, and basically my theory and quite possibly what the Lord had showed me was the dead in Christ rising in 2022. And it's always like this space. It's always like emphasis on the space in between and then the rapture of the people who are in Christ that are on earth but regardless if you know the rapture for us happens in 2023 I strongly believe that this year um, if it's not like the dead in Christ and the living who get raptured if it's just the dead in Christ then I, I feel like those who are still in him who are left behind will be changed and see I feel like we would be doing I feel like we would be raptured but like as a dream like just our spirits would go up and then we would be changed and we would do a work we would you know because why wouldn't we why wouldn't we do one big last harvest before like the actual rapture um I kind of believe you, we could like go in and out of like dimensions so like if we wanted to leave for like we could be gone as long as we want in a whole nother dimension you know um and do whatever that comes along with that um I'm gonna try not to get too into it because like there is a, a line of like what's actually going to happen and and theory and though a lot of my theories I do believe um, are, you know, quite correct, um, at the end of the day, you know, we never really know exactly what is going to happen until we know, but, um, so regardless, I do believe that something's going to happen this year, and I'm not going to lie, I am looking at our August hard, um, but it's very important to look um, even around that because, you know, 
it was such a symbolic dream but like it may not be that cut and dry it may not it, you know with with time being off with calendars being off um could have been october you know he put the number the number of the month for the rapture and you know the number of the of october is you know kind like kind of technically octo eight so you never really know um but definitely we need to continue to watch um it's really any moment um that could happen so i hope that was encouraging for somebody um i know i don't really get too many views um i did at first so I do feel a sense of like, uh, they definitely control your views, you know? Um, I always feel like they're gonna do that, you know? Um, I think the enemy senses who's willing to sell their soul for views and for fame, so, you know, if a lot of you are wondering why you don't get many views, consider yourself, you know, blessed because I feel like that's what happens to people. You know, there's certain levels and, you know, depending on what you're willing to do, um, you know, for fame, they're gonna up your views you know they're gonna do these things to make you go to the next level and the next level so i mean yeah i had an instagram and i then had one that was literally just all to christ all about christ um just truth etc and i was literally getting followers every day like i would see the amount of followers that i was getting but the number of followers on my page, when you look to see how many followers you have, it was not changing. But I could see that I was getting these new followers every day. So they control that stuff. You know? They control it. Um, so they're definitely not going to let us get too many followers. Um, but yeah. So, um, hopefully I'll be on soon with another video. I'm, I just honestly can't believe that I'm even doing these videos. Um, I've had a few of these dreams that I, I've had, I had in 2018, 2019, um, that I just never shared. I just kind of always felt a little bit led to share some videos um, and I would be so excited to do it and then it was just like the fire would just be gone from doing it. Um, but here I am. I'm actually doing it. Glory to God. I um, feel like this is what he wants me to do. But um, I will always come on and share at this point anything that I feel like I should share that the Lord wants me to share if the Lord gives me any more dreams um, real quick I did have a dream a while ago when COVID was really going on um, And I can basically just say it real quick without it being too long. But um, they were coming house to house to give the vaccination. Um, um, I think this was before I even ever heard anything about them going house to house, to be honest. Um... And it was my sister that was there. And I had a knowing that, like, you could say no and they couldn't do it. Um, 
I'm not saying like that's could be still the case like I, I a lot of people have dreams of like a forced vaccination um so I'm you know I'm not really sure about that um but in the dream in my mind I knew that they could not give my sister the shot if she said no and I think I had told her that and then she still just let it happen because I had said no and and that's when I had the knowing like I had said no for her so they kind of like stopped and it was almost like they waited for her decision and um they she it was like she didn't even I don't even think she said anything she just like obviously her spirit like allowed it and it happened um and I do feel like she did get it um she was in the hospital rehab etc so I know they gave it to her um I personally don't think that you're doomed to hell if you get it I'm not saying get it at all because um I do think something is bad is going to happen to the people that did but I trust in my lord so much that like he's not going to you know ultimately let the people who took the vaccine go to hell he has a better plan than that um, so I hate when people say, you know, oh, like, they took the bee, the mark of the beast, like, in the mark of the beast, you go, you're damned to hell, like, basically. So, um, I, I do believe it's a part of the mark of the beast, but I don't think, um, and I do think something bad will happen, um, to the people who took it but I, I don't think those souls are doomed to hell I mean you can't tell me that I slept over my Nana's house a few weeks ago and my Nana took took the vaccine and she's doomed to hell you know um, she's still the same loving Nana like regardless like you know it, it, you can't tell me that I just have way too much faith in the Lord and in his plan um that he he would have that happen and he loves us way too much way too much for that to happen he has a way better plan than you think if that's what if you think that people who took it are doomed to hell um period so um But yeah, so I'm going to end this video because we're now at 23 minutes, minutes and um, I don't want it to go too long because it does take forever to upload. Um, but yeah, so if I come on um, ho I'm sorry, hopefully I can come on again um, with a video or something um but I am trying to stay active on here and uh because I do feel like I have something to say though I do feel like the Lord wants me to share things and um so we'll see all right good good night and God bless everyone bye